Hi, and welcome to the Clarity Timesheets Overview video. I'm Katherine Ellis, a Product Manager with Clarity. The Timesheets module in Clarity enables individuals and teams to seamlessly capture the effort spent on various tasks. In this video, you will learn about some of the prerequisites for using Timesheets and the different ways to submit a Timesheet. Let's start by reviewing some settings in Clarity that impact Timesheets. Let's log into the Classic PPM. The first thing we need to ensure is relevant resources have the access rights for Timesheets. Next, let's check the resource settings. The resource must be open for time entry and the track mode should be set to PPM. We also need to ensure the investment is open for time entry and the track mode is set to PPM. And the investment is financially enabled. Let's ensure the Location and Department OBS are set for the investment. Finally, let's ensure the timesheets have been activated in the System Options. Now let's log into Clarity open an investment, and use the Staff module to add a resource to the investment. Let's select Adriana as the resource in this scenario. Adriana notices that a few tasks are assigned to her and she starts working on them. She is now ready to submit timesheets. Let's submit time for Adriana by navigating to the Timesheets module. Adriana adds the tasks assigned to her in the Timesheet. Adriana also completed a task that was not originally assigned to her, based on a request from the Development Manager. Let's use the Add Work option. Adriana selects from the list of tasks and adds them to the Timesheet. After recording hours against the relevant tasks, Adriana submits the timesheet for approval. Now let's create and submit the timesheet for a second week. Because most of Adriana's tasks are spread across weeks, she now selects the option Copy Previous Timesheet and Copy Hours to copy the previous time entries, including the effort, into the new timesheet. She makes minor adjustments to the timesheet and submits it for approval. The project manager reviews and approves Adriana's timesheets. After submitting timesheets, let's review the jobs an administrator must execute in Classic PPM to convert time entries into actuals. Actuals help stakeholders to monitor investment progress and to make adjustments quickly, avoiding budget overruns. Let's log into Classic PPM. The first job is the Rate Matrix Extraction job. This job extracts costs and rates associated with the resources and tasks. It is important to ensure current financial metrics are used to evaluate actuals compared to budget. The next job is the Post Timesheets job. This job is a background process that compiles and posts the actual effort values into the project plan and updates the remaining estimated work to completion. Next is the Post Transactions to Financial job. This job verifies and transfers data from the transaction import tables into the financial management tables. 
The next job is the Post to Whip job. It allows you to automate Post to Whip functionality and ensure organizational financial information is up to date on a regular basis. Transactions posted to WIP are available for WIP adjustments and department invoicing. With WIP adjustments, you can modify and correct costs and rates on posted WIP transactions. Once timesheet entries are posted into WIP, it is best practice to do a timesheet adjustment if the quantity of hours needs correction. You can update, reverse, or transfer posted WIP transactions. The last job you want to run is the investment allocation job. It updates the visual gauges in the projects. Let's quickly go back to the investment for which Adriana had submitted the timesheets. You can see that the effort remaining visual gauge is updated. This allows stakeholders to get a quick status of the investment before they dig into further details. You can also see the actuals in the staff grid. I'm sure you now have a better understanding of the timesheets overview in Clarity. Thank you for watching this video.